I seem to have seen a lot on the internet and in forums. People clearly don't know how to go about feeding their crested geckos. Now, I've seen a lot of things in various places regarding the weight and what weight. I'd be asking questions like, what weight should my gecko be? I've seen lots of ones that are the 10 months old and only weighing about 4 grams which is obviously underweight. My guy here, he's four months old, just over 10 grams. Um, and the mistake people seem to be making is they're not feeding live food, or not feeding live food very regularly. I feed at least twice a week, and I dust with a calcium supplement and a vitamin D3 supplement as well as feeding Rapashi every day because no, you'll find that they won't eat the crested gecko diet every day because uh, some days the bowls look clean, some days it's not and it doesn't necessarily correspond with what days you feed the crickets so you best have it in there every day and try a cycle of how I feed mine is I do two days gecko diet, one day is live food, two days gecko diet, one day live food. You see these crickets are getting a bit on the big side for them. But the ideally should be the distance between the eyes. And they're pretty much at that limit. So be taking out all the large ones and putting them in with the the small ones. But yeah, leave them in there until they've eaten their fill. I think like most of the other animals, they see things move in and they strike out of instinct. So um, there's a potential for overfeeding I suppose. Wherein they won't stop when they get full because they'll see something move and they'll go for it. Um, I don't know if that applies to these, but uh, it's not something to worry about, I don't think, it's particularly at a young age. As you can see, he's, he's not fat. No, he's he's a nice he's a nice size. But um, feeding purely crust gecko diet. Although yes, it's formulated to have everything in it. It's a complete, it's a, it is a complete diet. It's the two things really that I don't like about just feeding a diet a gecko diet is um, you lose out any natural hunting behaviour which you can see Frank's displaying here as clumsy as he is, that's why I feed him in a box um, what was he playing at? there you go it is good to watch and it's, it's good for them, it's good exercise for the animals it's, um, it's just, I think it's good to get natural behaviour where possible the reason we have naturalistic setups and the reason why they're so so uh, heavily promoted. So why not have natural feeding as well? But, um, and the second reason is that it they grow. They seem to grow a lot quicker. Um, they get up to a much healthier size. As you can see, and they put on weight a lot quicker. I've seen people on forums and on the internet that have geckos older than this, I think six months old I've seen one and it's only six grams. It's nearly double that and is considerably younger as well. But yeah they do, they, it is also worth noting that they do, individuals do grow at different size, at uh, different rates. Um, they will go at different rates and there's there's no um, set weight as a gecko of a certain age should be um, because it's very, because it's dependent on so many variables um, but it, they don't I don't think they mature any faster so it's, it's, it doesn't affect them like that they just seem to put on put on size a bit better I think it's healthier for them they're still getting everything they need from the diet, all the vitamins from the from the crested gecko diet with the added bonus of 
the hunting behaviour, the exercise, and the, the live food, which, which I got a load of potatoes and crusty gecko diet. So to conclude, don't just feed your gecko they on the on the powdered gecko diets. Feed them live food as well. Try and stay with your your cockroaches, your crickets, you know, your insects. Try and stay away from grubs. It's good to feed them, you know, the occasional worm here and there, but um, they shouldn't be used as a staple. Look how brilliant this is. Why would you why wouldn't you want to see this? When they get older, you can introduce the live food directly into the enclosures. I have mine on a cocoa fibre substrate and it is perfectly fine providing you watch them. As you can tell at the moment he is still too young for it, as he's a very very sloppy eater. He'd undoubtedly get a large mouthful of substrate. And that you want to avoid at all costs. But when they get older, they're generally better eaters. But you still, like with anything, you get the odd individual. That's just a mucky pup. So, yeah, keep an eye out for that. Otherwise, feed him in a box. Nothing wrong with feeding him in a box. But yeah, do do introduce live food to your li your lizards to give them a full, you know, balanced diet. Okay, thanks for watching. I hope you take something away from this video.